Right, we're on. Do you want to stop the golf ball from going out to the right? If the answer to that question is yes, I suggest you watch this video. Here we go. <laughs> It's just started raining, that will not affect this video whatsoever. Before we start this, your ball flight goes to the right. Let me just explain one thing to you, or demonstrate one thing to you. The bunker to the right, the third bunker on the right hand side is where I'm aiming. I put my club behind the golf ball there, and for all intents and purposes, as I look down towards that leading edge of that golf club, to me, that is 90 degrees towards my target line. That's exactly on line with target. Now, boom. So there you can see my leading edge points 90 degrees or, or perfectly in line with my target. Okay, so my grooves are 90 degrees to my target line. Now just watch this. If I lift the handle of the golf club up, but leave the grooves 90 degrees to my target line and just lift the handle up, can you see how the club points out to the right? As I look down, that club face is perfectly square. Face aim tilt says it's not. So lifting the handle of the golf club up at impact points the golf club out to the right. So if I come down, left handle up, there's a chance the toe is going to hit the ground as well. So the face also points to the right, the toe hits the ground, the heel takes over, which puts the club even more to the right, and of course we lose the ball out to the right. Early extension, standing up during the swing. This was a lesson I did last week. I had a player in a fantastic address position. You can see the nice knee flex, you can see the bend from the hips. Great position at address, up to the top, it was all looking great. And then from there, coming back down, 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 impact was here. So you can see now the body is standing much more upright than it was at address. The handle of the golf club is lifted from its address position to its impact position, which it will lift up slightly, which is why custom fitting the toe of your club should be slightly off the ground to allow for the shaft to bow and for a slight lifting of the hands because centripetal force pulls the hands away from the body. So they are going to lift up slightly, but from this position there, to this position at impact, that's a problem. And as we all know, that's called early extension. Boom. How do we, how do we fix early extension? Take an alignment cane. For right-handed golfers, place the cane under your right arm and just let it hang at a natural angle along the shaft line or parallel to your shaft line or your shoulder line and go up to the top of your golf swing. This is going to prevent early extension. From the top of your swing, if you turn back through and the left arm connection between the shaft or the cane and the left arm disappears, then there's separation and you will have stood up slightly or lifted up. Keeping that cane on the left forearm is vital. Address position, up the top. If I can turn through, keeping the cane on the left arm, like so, to there, now at impact, my left arm and cane are connected and there's no way I've lifted out the shot. There's no way I've stood up because if I do, disconnection. Address position, cane under arm, just let it hang naturally. It won't be exactly the same as your club shaft angle. It'll be above it slightly, but make sure it's not horizontal. Somewhere between the horizontal and the vertical. Good, just sit there naturally. There's a gap between shaft and arm, cane and arm, let's call it cane. Up to the top, good address position. You can see the angles between my calves and my thighs and then the bend from the waist. Great. Up to the top, as I get to here, cane and left arm connect up the top of my swing. And then from there, if I can keep that connection all the way down, 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 keep connection. You can see it impact there. I have maintained those address positions or got back to those bends at address and I've lost the early extension. You can see the handle of the golf club is a lot lower and therefore the club face will be much squarer to intended target. There. There. This is quite stressful. You can feel aches and pains. But that cane is on that left forearm. As soon as I take the cane off the left forearm, I've lifted up. Back down on it. There. It's a great way to feel early extension or to understand or... or or square that club base up with a slightly lower shaft to prevent the ball going out to the right. A lot of people talk about sitting on a chair to try and sit on that cane. As an example, keeping that connection there. That's good, hard to do, hard to perceive. 
I learn much more from upper body if I can feel that connection there with the cane. It's much more achievable. But in golf, there's no right or wrong, of course. So when it comes to drills and teaching aids, there's no right or wrong as long as you're capturing the sensation and capturing the feeling and hitting the alignments and positions you're supposed to be in. Or at least trying to get into. Okay, it's very wet now, but the sun's trying to come out. It's a strange Scottish drizzly day. Good address position there, eh? Great. That position there is very different there, standing up. Handle higher, club face pointing to the right, even though it looks as though it's pointing towards target. There, maintain, there, maintain, maintain. That's great, isn't it? So lots of reps of that, loads of reps of that to try and feel it. Golf is a game of reps, tiger, oh my god, tiger, reps, 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 reps. The man's right, the man is absolutely right. Then stepping on to try and feel that. With no cane, there, 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 squirted it a little bit, great compression ball turf, was I early extending, don't know, did the ball go out to the right, yeah a little bit, perhaps over exaggerating it, don't know, part of the learning process, again, good address position, there, into there, there, into there, I can feel what would happen if the cane was on there. Better. Felt lower. Feel as though I kind of got that one there. Yet the strike, to be honest with you, was a little bit heavy. Again, part of the learning process. It's tricky from a coach's point of view to teach something that you don't really have that fault in, so you try and overdo. So we're all learning. <laughs> Again, let's just grab this. Yes, I was overdoing it. There. Yeah, good. There. Good, fatted it a little bit again. I've got this though. Okay, we're on. There. There. That's it. I can feel, I can feel where I need to be. Not as exaggerated. Absolutely perfect. Smaller divot, pure strike. Straight in line with target, therefore club face must have been square. So handle wasn't lifting up as much. So that was good. Didn't exaggerate it quite as much. Didn't have to exaggerate it quite as much because it's not exactly my fault or a fault that I have. Not all the time, but I got it. I managed it. Stepping on, I'm aware of my address position. My chin's on that shelf. Come down, back to there. Where would the cane be? How would it feel as if the cane was on my left arm? It would feel like that nice lower hands impact here because I'm getting the motion more turned through and less standing up face is squarer to target that's good final one this is going to be awesome I can feel it I can feel it oh yes Best one left to last. <laughs> so there we go. That could be one reason why your ball goes out to the right. The club shaft from toe in the sky lifting up. Looks square impact. Absolutely. Grooves 90 degrees to target. Absolutely. Face aim tilt tells you different, doesn't it? Club face points to the right. Oh my God, it does it actually points to the right. Do the drill. Keep the left arm on the club shaft. Or the cane. As you turn through, you'll feel massive rotation of the body. I hit a few heavy to begin with. That's natural. That's going to happen because you've changed the motion. I then reduced exactly what I was trying to do. Because it didn't have to be quite as exaggerated, if you like. And I hit the ball well. And none went to the right. So that's a massive bonus. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.